We're here again, and well, I'm not gonna do it with this a Sean Atone. This, this is another Sean Atone vlog and movie gallery vlog because look, I got nothing. I love Teen Wolf, the 1980s cart animated movie and the animated series of the same name. The sequel kind of okay, but you know what? Because of MTV, they made Teen Wolf into a freaking drama. Why? Uh, oh, because it's a drama about getting into the stuff like Twilight and you see I got nothing against what their the Teen Wolf TV series, but you know what? It should be just like MASH. I mean MASH. Instead of having, having seen the main character from the first movie getting into a sitcom moment instead of having it in a drama. Because, look, to me, that's how you do a little nice nod to the movies like, like, like MASH. It was a movie that got turned into a TV series, but to me, that's what I like to see more of. Instead of TV, a movie based that was a comedy or one genre, and somehow a, a TV company got that movie idea, shake it up, and make it to another genre, which I think is a bad idea. But you see, if I made a movie that made tons of money, that's a science fiction movie that has a little bit of humor to it, I like to see that movie. It turned into a TV series and kept it the way it is, but not change it into something else, like what happened to Teen Wolf. That, and that movie, Teen Wolf, was a great movie back in the 80s, but I don't know why in hell they tried to change it into a drama. Sure, it's a good idea, to, because maybe it's because of the Twilight movies, but you see. Twilight kill, killed the vampire friend concept because to me, vampires have to be badass. And they made them into fucking pussies. And they come sparkle. And, oh. Team Wolf, I don't know why they want to try to do it the same way as Twilight. And heck, they should learn from Team Wolf 2. And. Trust me, folks. I'm, I like seeing a con a certain concept turn a, f a movie or turn into a TV show or vice versa. And heck, and look at look at Star Trek Generation One, the original one. Three seasons, and it got turned into an animated series and. Count cut then had spin three. Actually, yeah, four spin off. Ten movies of the the first two TV series. Then it got revamped, and it was kind of embarrassing for me to see the new version that yeah, doesn't have that charm of the TV series. And heck. And believe it or not, it's, uh, to me, I like to see some movies, uh, and actually, uh, I like to see, well, maybe, pff, I don't know, have, oh, I don't know, I don't have a, a, another TV series turn into a movie that we like to have, and heck, I, there was only one Doctor Who movie. To my knowledge, I went out to theater, but that was in the UK. But you know what? I like to see an American version of that franchise movie franchise instead. Have during the twelve movie and have I don't know. And have a twelve movie franchise and have. It like the TV series, but condense it instead of having it on for 50 years. Why not condense condense it into about 12 movies with a doctor for each, a new different doctor for each movie. 
And that, that's how I would do do American version of Doctor Who for the movie franchise. It has to be CBC lets it. And heck, at least it'll be better than the god awful Avengers movie starring Uma Thurman, which was done done by that got reviewed by the nostalgia critics, so this is Mel Bouchon. I've even signing off.